Welcome to episode two of The Diesel Dad. My name is Anders Varner. Today we're talking about metabolisms because metabolisms are confusing. Everyone knows they have one, but nobody truly understands how they work. Wouldn't it be awesome to unlock the keys to how your body burns calories? Wouldn't it be empowering to know exactly how much to eat to build a strong, lean, and athletic body you're proud of? I get this process can be daunting. I'm not a scientist. I've never worn a lab coat and I have an undiagnosed allergy to academia that has haunted me my entire life. Lucky for you, this means I get to talk to you like a real human, without all the jargon that confuses the hell out of people. So what is your metabolism? It is the total amount of energy expended by your body in a given day. This number is represented by an acronym, T-D-E-E, which stands for total daily energy expenditure. There are four major ways your body expends energy. Your basal metabolic rate, BMR, which is all the chemical and hormonal reactions that keep you alive. This is the amount of energy you need for your brain and organ to function, repair, and the rebuilding of cells with absolutely zero movement in your day. Non-exercise non activity thermogenesis, NEAT, which is the amount of energy needed to walk, talk, raise your hands, type emails, and move throughout your day. NEAT is the sum total of all non-exercise movement in your day. Physical activity. This is the one that everybody understands. This is the dedicated time you spend in the gym, lifting, conditioning, and training. And finally, the thermal effect of food, which is every bit of food that enters your mouth undergoing a digestion process, turning protein into amino acids, carbohydrates into glucose, and fat into fatty acids that can be used by your body. What's great about understanding these four components of your total daily energy expenditure is that all four are not created equal. Your BMR is roughly 60% of your TDEE. NEAT is 15%. Exercise is another 15% and TEF is roughly 10%. These numbers are the key to success. With so many people focusing on more exercise, they miss the largest goal of increasing their baseline metabolism. This is the key component of the Diesel Dad diet. Over 13 weeks, you will lose 13 pounds by systematically increasing your baseline metabolism. You will reduce the total amount of time spent in the gym. You will build more muscle. You will burn more fat. You will eliminate the crippling confusion about your metabolism. Stop all the negativity of feeling slow, soft, and sluggish. Build a strong, lean, and athletic body you are proud of. The Diesel Dad Diet Registration is live right now. To start, you can go to dieseldaddiet.com and sign up today. The reason we put this article together is because the Diesel Dad Diet is the cornerstone piece of how we build this education system and how you can start to have a better conversation with yourself, your family, your kids about understanding calories, how your metabolism plays into burning those calories and what actually is made up or what actually makes up your metabolism. There's so many times you hear people say like, oh, I just, I was born with a slow metabolism. This is the way I've always looked. Or maybe they've been through CrossFit, maybe they've overtrained, maybe they've done a bunch of pieces of fitness and they don't see the results, so they just throw their hands up in the air and they say, oh, well, my metabolism's broken. It's just not. Your metabolism is 60% of it is you just laying in bed, staying alive, keeping your brain moving, keeping your organs functioning. 15% of it is the actual exercise. Yes, it's a massive piece if you're doing it properly and, and using that 15% to build muscle. The other 15 is just getting up and getting out of bed and moving throughout the day. It's really important to just constantly be moving and getting up, but because we wake up, we sit in our cars, we sit at work, we sit when we get back in our cars, we may go to the gym for 30, 45, 60 minutes, something like that in a day. And then you go home and you sit on the couch. Where in that day are you just moving? 
When are you fidgeting? When are you getting up, taking calls while you're outside or taking calls while you're walking around? We sit on Zoom all day long. It's no wonder that your body's metabolism, metabolism is so low. It's why you're not burning calories at an optimal level because you're just static. Your body has no reason to burn calories. Before we're able to move forward in understanding how your body burns calories, why it stores fat the way it does, we need to understand metabolism as a whole. 60% of it is keeping you alive. The part that everybody focuses on and as soon as they go to lose weight, what do they do? They start working out more. That's only 15%. And that 15% is just as equal as getting up and going and walking around throughout the day. We have to think about these, these systems in, in a more functional way of how do you use the, how do you use these pieces throughout the day, right? What we'd like to see is you thinking about your metabolism as a car, just keeping it on and idling all day long. That's 60%. Now, if we were to take that and drive around your town all day long at 25 miles an hour, we're going to be at the steady burn all day long. We're constantly going to be burning that fuel. We're constantly going to be using it, burning those calories probably getting into those fat stores that you've built up because you've been sitting around so much. And then once a day, we're going to rev that up and we're going to test that engine as hard as we can. We're not going to redline it all day long by having two, three, four workouts by just slamming ourselves with high intensity interval training, by just slamming ourselves with 90 minute workouts as hard as we possibly can going to failure all the time. No, we want to think about this in a long term game. We want to think about a long-term effort, sustainable efforts to be able to optimize how well our metabolism works, how well we're able to build muscle. And then the final part is how much we're, when we eat, we're digesting. That's expensive for our body to turn steak into protein pro, or turn steak into amino acids that our bodies can use. Carbohydrates into glucose for energy, fat, so we can optimize hormone reactions. Check it out. If we're to, to do this all day long, right? I want you to think about your day in four hour chunks. We've got six four hour chunks that are gonna get us to a 24 hour day. Two of those, you should be sleeping. That's eight total hours of sleep. The other four we're awake for, that's 16 hours. I want you to think about the fact that you have in each four hours a responsibility to do three things. The first one is to walk a mile. The second one is to drink 20 to 32 ounces of water. And the third one is to stretch for two minutes. If we're able to do that, when you walk a mile, you are going to have, by the end of the day, accumulated four miles, which is going to get you to the 10,000 steps that we all hope to achieve throughout the day. Additionally, if you drink 20 to 32 ounces of water in a water bottle that you constantly have on you, now you're getting upwards of a gallon of water in your life every single day. That's going to help clear your body out. You're constantly going to be up moving, going to the bathroom. It's going to help you be significantly healthier. We don't need to harp on the fact that water is insanely important for our body. And then the third thing, being able to stretch for two minutes, it's super simple. I don't want you to think about, you have to just bend over and touch your toes for two straight minutes and be super awkward. It's really just a process of recognizing and, and intentionally focusing on the fact that your joints have a full range of motion that you need to be moving through throughout the day. And when we sit and we're static and we're tense and we're for, focused on our emails and we're focused on Zoom, we're holding in all the stress and we don't ever think about ways of getting it out. By stretching for two minutes, it just gives us the opportunity to slow down a little bit, relieve the tension, not be so tense and tight but to actually practice flexibility, practice mobility, move our joints through a full range of motion. So you can sit in a squat, you can bend over and touch your toes, you can put your arms over your head, you can stretch, you can move, you can bend. Anything for two consistent, for two straight minutes done on a consistent basis is going to make sure that all of our joints are lubricated, moving well, and we don't have to deal with tension all day long like we're fighting our emails. Look, this life is not designed for health and nutrition right now. Calories are super cheap. You can find them on any corner. Fast food is delicious. Everybody loves it. And hopefully you're not eating that, but it, it, food is everywhere. What isn't everywhere is hard work. 
It's hard work to have to get up and go walk a mile. It's hard work to have to fight to, to find water and carry a water bottle around with you. It's hard work to get up and stretch for two minutes. But it's really about a 20 minute window that you need to walk a mile, drink 20 ounces of water and stretch for two minutes. And it's important that you do this so you can start building these habits into your day. Set an alarm if you need to. Get on Map My Run, get on Google, find an exact one mile loop around your house, around your office. Find a half mile down and back. Find a way that you can integrate these basic steps to improve your life, to improve your metabolism, to learn how to build muscle properly. Look, fitness, you have an ethical responsibility to being strong, lean, and athletic. It's insanely important for you to be able to create habits that you can sustain and do consistently over a very long period of time that are going to stack the deck in your favor. You want to tip the scales in your life towards health, towards fitness, and you want to educate yourself on how to become fit, understanding your metabolism so that when it's time to create habits, like the one we just discussed, you know you're doing the right thing, aimed in the right direction, and you're going to get a result that you're proud of. For us, we want you to be a part of the Diesel Dad Diet. This is the baseline step. I want you to understand how your metabolism works. I want you to lose 13 pounds in 13 weeks, and I want you to build a strong, lean, and athletic body that you're proud of. In the show notes below, you have a link to the Diesel Dad Diet. I want you to click that link. I want you to join us. You're going to get three months of free coffee from our friends at Caffeine and Kilos. We love them. And coffee, who doesn't love it? Diesel Dad Diet. Get into the show notes right now. Come join us. It's important for you to understand that fitness is an ethical responsibility. Understanding the key components to live a strong, healthy life matter. The Diesel Dad Diet is your first step to optimizing your metabolism, to building a strong, lean, and athletic body, and losing 13 pounds in 13 weeks. Come join us today. The Diesel Dad Diet registration is live. Get into the description. We'll see you guys right now.